Harley, let's try something we've never done before. Cooking a pizza with a fry pan. I've spent the majority of my life using things for which they weren't intended. I'll use a hammer for a screwdriver and a screwdriver for a hammer if necessary. So what are we going to use for this project? Obviously a fry pan, a big cookie sheet, and a corningware bowl. And what do we need for this project? Obviously these items and a delicious tombstone pizza. Well, hopefully. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is preheat the fry pan up to yeah, a little bit less than the recommended cooking temperature for a pizza. 275 degrees. And to answer the obvious question, no, I haven't done this before to see how it'll work. Alright, now that we've got our fry pan preheated, let's insert the pizza. Which, unfortunately, is not a perfect fit. But pretty damn close, so we're going to forge ahead anyway. Now that the pizza's in the pan, we're going to cover it up and wait until the crust turns golden brown. As an aside as to why I'm doing this, this is the kind of shit that we're all going to have to do if we allow our country to keep deteriorating. We're going to have to use things for which they were not intended in ways that they weren't necessarily intended to be used. All right, the first thing I'm learning here is that the selected heat setting might be just a little bit too much because after a minute or two, it's already singeing the bottom of the pizza. So we're going to bring the heat down a little bit to maybe 250. Maybe we'll get a nice even crust that way. I just got word that Harley is hoping that this experiment is a complete and utter failure. Because then she can have a whole pizza all to herself. Fat chance, dog. Alright, it's about 15 minutes later. We're back up on the temperature, quite a bit actually. And the crust is looking like it's just about ready, or at least fry pan ready. So we're just about ready to move on to stage two. And what's stage two, you might be asking yourself? Well, in a pinch, we could eat it just like it is. But I'm going to attempt to cook the top of the pizza as well. So I've turned the fry pan up to its highest temperature, put it on the cookie sheet with a Pyrex bowl underneath to insulate the table from getting burned. And now we're going to try to cook the pizza. Hopefully this fry pan will operate upside down. If not, I'm going to have to disassemble the control mechanism and make it so that it can. Fortunately, it seems to be operating the way it's supposed to when it's upside down. So we'll be back in a few minutes, hopefully, with a fully cooked pizza. While we're waiting, I'd like to make a little comment as to why I'm doing this. If people are prepared to keep looking the other way and not paying attention to what goes on politically and right under their noses for that fact... This is the kind of things we're all going to end up having to do on a daily basis. So if you like your modern conveniences and the way your life is now, you better take an interest while you still can. So it would be in our best interest to all pay attention to what goes on politically before we lose the modern conveniences that we all take for granted. Not to mention the freedom of choice that is available to us every day. Or you might end up using a hammer as a screwdriver, a screwdriver as a hammer, or a fry pan as a pizza oven. Or end up desperately searching for someone who can.
Bon appétit.